Hello everyone, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to add Windows Agent in Zabbix server. This video is the part of the Zabbix installation configuration and overview part. We thought that adding Windows Agent and showing you some of the graphs would be important as well. My name is Talha and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really really fast. Let's get started. Zebix server has different agents which work with different operating systems. Zebix uses its agents for receiving data from its host systems. For example, Zebix have a Windows agent which we add into the Zebix server and it helps us to visualize the Windows system data on our Zabbix server. We have a lot of agents of different operating systems. For example, we have an agent for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, SolarIS, OpenBSD, etc. Today, we will see how to download the Zabbix Windows agent and how to add it into Zabbix. So first of all, will go to their official website and from here will download our agent for Windows. So here you can see that we have a lot of versions available. So we will download the one compatible with our Zabbix server version. If we scroll down here, we have the download link. We will click on that and it will start to download. I have already downloaded it. So I'll directly go to my downloaded files. So open the downloaded file and it will be a RAR or zip file. You have to extract the content of zip file into new folder named as Zebex. You can do so into your C drive, just like I have here in my C drive. Now we will go to our command prompt. So in the command prompt, if I write here dir, here you can see that I have a folder named as Zebex. In Zebex, we have two more folders. One is bin and the other one is conf. Now, as we are in our C directory, here in command prompt, we will write a command here, which is Zebex slash bin slash Zebex underscore agent D dot exe and then hyphen c then space and then we're gonna write here the address c colon slash zebex slash conf slash zebex underscore agent d dot conf space hyphen i so do not worry i'm gonna put this uh, command into the description you can copy it from there and after that hit enter this command will execute the files needed to install the Zabbix agent. In case if it gives you some problem related to authorization, go to your Zabbix folder and then go to the bin folder and right click on your Zabbix agent D file. Here go to its properties. From properties, go to compatibility options. From here, click on run this program as an administrator and now you will not have the error or problem related to authorization. Now we have to start our Zebex agent. And here we have two ways to start the Zebex agent. One is by command prompt and the other way is by doing it manually by going to the services. I will show you both. To start the Zebex agent from command prompt, I'll go to my Zebex folder and then I'll go to the bin folder and here I will write zabbix underscore agent d dot exe and then hyphen and then start. Now here our zabbix agent has started and it's working. Let's see the second method to start the zabbix agent. You have to hit the windows plus r buttons and then you have to write services dot msc inside of it. From here, you can see that we have all the services running in our windows. You have to scroll down and look for Zebex agent and you have to right click on it. And from here, we can start our Zebex agent. 
Now we are done with starting our agent. Now we have some work related to editing our downloaded files. Go to your Zapix folder, then go to conf folder. Here we have only one file. Open that file in notepad. In this file, search for the server and change the IP address here with your IP address. To check what your IP address is, go to command prompt and write here ipconfig and hit enter. Here you can see this is your IP address. Copy this address and then paste this address into the file. Now search for server active and do the same thing with IP address here as well. And now you search for the host name and change this name with your system name. You can see your system name in your system properties. In my case, you can see my name here of the system. I will just simply go ahead and write that in place of the host name. So I will just write here the name and then I'll save it. Now we will go to our Zapix server and here we will add a host. Go to configurations and click on hosts. From here, click on create host. Here, the host name will be same as what you have given in the editing file, which was Zubair in my case. For groups, click on select and look for template slash operating system. Now, down here, we have an interface. Click on that and select the agent. In agent, write the IP address of your system, which will be the same as what we did in our editing file. In my case, it is 192.168.18.206. After that, write the port number, which is 10051 in my case. In most of the cases, it is 10050. After that, we will add a template. So click on template and new window will open up. Click on select and select the option of Windows by Zabbix agent. After that, just click on OK. We have added our host successfully. The thing is that our host name already exists with the same name, OK? I have already practiced it and I have already added it. So in your case, when you'll be creating a new one, it would not give you this warning. Now go to the command prompt and write sudo su. After that, write here zebex underscore server space hyphen r and then you write here config underscore cache underscore reload and then hit enter. Now you can see that it's working. We are done with all the editing and now our added agent will take some time to come online. As you can see that this is not online yet. Give it some time and it will be online. Now let's go to monitoring and click on host. Here we have two hosts. Let's check the status of any of the host here, I will look for the graphs data and after loading here, you can see all the data. So you can see that it is loading right here and when it loads, we'll be able to see the data. So here you can see that we have successfully loaded the data of our Windows server or Windows machine on our server. Here you can see that it shows us the network traffic data and up there it shows us the processes data and you can see that it is continuously loading it and updating it. We can add hosts for other systems or machines as well and we can monitor all of them from our Zabbix server. So that's it from this video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Now you know that how to analyze your system using Zabbix and how to add agents. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos to help you advance your IT career.